Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. Today we're going to be watching, reviewing, and reacting to episode 8 of All of Us Are Dead. Okay, so last time, again, they left us off on a pretty upsetting cliffhanger um, with our large group making their way to the roof only to find that it was locked with a helicopter incoming and... I just have a bad feeling that that kid is not gonna tell them that there's more people there. Like, he's... No. He's gonna leave them there, and, you know... I don't know what in the world would ever lead to them getting out if they... If rescue services come and check once and think there's no one else, but... I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm a little stressed about it. Um... Okay, so I definitely don't think I'll get through as many today as I did last time. I'm uh, feeling a bit under the weather at this point, but hopefully at least a couple. I got my snacks, and um, I'm here. I'm excited, ready to go. Hope you guys are ready to go, too. So let's get into episode eight. Here we go. You? <laughs> 솔직히, yeah, you did that. You, you ate him. You kind of ate him. She doesn't seem all that stirred by that <laughs> prospect. <laughs> yeah, but you, Guinom, she's not gonna be so so happy to find out what is left of you. Jesus. <laughs> 아니야? I mean, this guy kind of deserved it. I'm not gonna lie. He kind of had it coming. Bro. Bro! Come on! them to travel in. Uh -uh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Not to like go overboard in praising this guy, but he's totally right. You couldn't- OH MY GOD! Oh, it's her! 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 Oh, Oh, 
This is what I was saying before with them, right? You know? Like, they're just going in and shooting first, asking questions later. <laughs> Look again, it's a bunch of zombies everywhere. I mean, there's plenty for you to shoot them at. Oh my god. <laughs> She's gonna try to take stuff and, and go to them. She's trying to do better. Uh oh. I just can't feel bad for her yet. I mean, what she said, what she dealt with was not nearly sufficient enough to justify. Like, maybe if she actually goes, would go all the way through with some sort of redemption to try to help people. But every time she, like, stops herself. At least it seems like she's capable of sort of feeling bad. Unlike others. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's how it always goes. That's how it always goes. That's how it always goes. That's how it always Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Brother Oh, there he is. 
뭐야? 나? 옥상 가야 되는데 문이 잠겨서 배고파? 아니 배 고프냐고 나도 여기 어디? 오 짝사랑이냐? 거의 그, 그래 거의 그런 것도 뭐야 How can you? Oh, they're all like, you really? For real? For real, miss? For real? They're all like, hmm, hmm. Who is it? I'm going to 애들 아니야. 청소에 장난치는 거야. 음... <웃음> 제 유치원 때부터 짝꿍이고 옆집 살아서 그런 거지. 그런 거 아니야. 장난치지 마라. 장난 아니야. 여섯 살 때부터 지금까지 12년 동안 어... 하루도 안 빠지고 너 좋아했어. 앞으로도 그럴 거고. 음. He's like, bro, get up and go talk to her. Go talk to her. Go. 정상아. <laughs> He's like, I will teach you. <laughs> Let me teach you the way. 좋아도 돼. 하지 마. 다 했어. 다 말했으니까 됐어. 되게 뭐가 되게 나쁜 새끼야. 넌 나한테 제일 친한 친구였는데. 이사기도 없어지고 너도 없어지고. What? Oh, come on. 나보고 어떡하라고. Oh, this is making me sad. <laughs> this fucking guy. Cliffhanger, that one, I'm not gonna lie. The last one was pretty intense too, but this one, like, the, I, I, even with like the, the thunderclap, right? At the exact moment. And, oh, okay. Okay. Well, this was an interesting episode. I feel like they, for the most part, they kind of took this episode as a moment to kind of breathe at least once the main group was on the roof to kind of to kind of breathe and pause and you know have some character moments as opposed to the continuous non-stop <laughs> adrenaline rush um which is good you definitely need that in sorts of stories like this <sighs> especially because i'm sure i'm sure part of having all the character building moments for the entire group is that some of them will end up dying, so you'll be more upset at the end when that happens, I'm sure. So, some things happened this episode. Um, I actually was surprised that, what's his name? Okay, hang on. The, the other police officer, the one that they're calling traitor. Hochul? 
Yeah, that he actually, that he did come back. I was shocked. Like, I apologized to him. I thought there was no way he was coming back and that he was going to just abandon the kids. But no, not only did he not abandon the kids, but he found a safer method of transporting everyone and came back and rescued them. And, you know, them calling him traitor actually at that instance doesn't seem right to me because, yeah, okay, he drove off and left you there. That's true. But, like, this was the only way that what you wanted was going to be accomplished because that, that stupid blogger guy was definitely, like, he couldn't come down and also get on the bike and all of you get out of there. That wasn't going to work. So... But yeah, so now they are on a bus and, oh no, look who they run into. Um, but also, now, suddenly, suddenly, I was thinking, okay, so this is going to be a weird situation because who knows, like, how she's actually going to act is... Uh, I'm all, I, like, I, I feel very uncertain about how she'd be with anyone. Is it just the people specifically that she had history with that she hated that she would want to harm or does she have so much anger inside her and like zombie rage now that she'd want to end up harming anyone but now of course it's much more complicated because they've all been found and brought in by soldiers um which i'm sure they're gonna figure out fairly quickly that she has been bit and it's there's some different m mutation of the zombie virus and then they'll probably want to be testing her and see if like there's something that they can do but so yeah that'll definitely be curious to find out and on then he'll also oh and then he'll also tell them about the laptop at the school so that's the reason for them to go back to the school there we go clicking together in my head okay okay things starting to make sense Sorry, guys. Um, yes. And then, you know, like I said, we had a lot of the character development. <sighs> I don't know how to feel about the situation with Guinam eating a uh, Nayeon. Now, first of all, they didn't show. So I assume there's a possibility that she's gonna be a half zombie because he's the one that bit her but it seemed like he was kind of eating her a lot um so even if she was she's gonna be really messed up but it's also like it's kind of it's it it seems like it doesn't always work that way right so like he was able to create a half zombie but Yunji, when she when she was eating off of that that teacher asshole guy, he just came back as a full regular zombie. So it seems like it doesn't happen every time. There's something else involved in the process. But I just don't know. It just seems like if Nayeon is just dead, if she's not coming back, then I don't really understand what the point. Like, what was the point of the continuation of her character at that at, in that instance? Like, to have her be in there and to be going through this internal, like, turmoil and conflict of whether or not she should go out and try to help them and provide them with the, the food and water and other drinks that she has access to and knows is in there to share it, or whether she's going to hold on to, like the negativity because she <laughs> she killed Guotsu. Um Yeah, whether she's going to actually feel guilty enough and remorseful eventually to try and do... And like, they just kept going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And finally, it does seem like she's made the choice to go. And right when that happens, she's dead? I don't know. It kind of makes it seem like, at that point, it almost feels like you could have just had her leave when, um, after she, after she killed him. And just have her die, you know, like there was... <sighs> I mean, because they might be trying to show it as like a more redemptive sort of situation because she was going to bring them stuff, because she was feeling shame and guilt. But I still don't feel like that's sufficient enough. And that's because 
even with what Miss Park uh, was saying there, she like she felt she was somewhat responsible because she felt that she cornered her by basically saying that she would have to apologize and say she was wrong. And that she, I guess she thinks that maybe if that hadn't happened, that she wouldn't have gone in there and rubbed the blood into his wound at all. And like, if she hadn't, like they would have just had him come back out and everything would have been fine. And maybe that's the case, but that's such like, an extreme and insane overreaction to that, just like it's an extreme and insane overreaction to her feeling unliked in the first place, that, like, it was hard for me to feel sympathy for her, even with what they were doing. So unless, like, she's still around and she's going to have a much bigger redemption arc, I don't know. I don't know. But I guess we'll see. Maybe she's just dead. Maybe Queen Hong just ate her. Um, and yes, and now we are left at this cliffhanger with them battling out on the roof. And apparently a storm is about to start and come down. So I'm very curious about what's going to happen here. I don't know if Namra is going to like step up with her zombie powers to, to try and, and fight him. Like a, nobody else is strong enough. Like they can all try to gang up together, I guess. But we'll... I guess we'll see at the beginning of the next episode. So, all right, I'm gonna wrap this one up here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and hopefully, I will see you next time. Bye.